Tiara here with Gypsy Fae Creations. Thanks so much for tuning in. Welcome or welcome back to another soapy making video. Today's soap is going to be a donut theme and I got the inspiration from this mold. It's little mini, look how tiny they are, mini donut shaped um, molds that I got off Amazon. I'll leave the link for anyone who wants to purchase it as well. But I made these really cute embeds to go on top of the soap, of a soap. Um, that you've already seen. It was the rose gold cupcakes and I thought what else can I do with this and then I got to look at that shape and I'm like it's a circle with a little circle on the inside of it. So I was like I can totally make that into a embed and put it inside of the soap using my handy dandy PVC molds that I've made and some collin molds that are going to go inside of it. So I'm going to start off because this is a two step or a two day process. I'm going to start off by making the embed that is going to go inside of the soap that will look like a donut. So I have my oils here. I have seven different kind of oils. The, the oils I use in this recipe are located in the description box. And then I have my lye solution, distilled water, which is distilled water, lye, and sodium lactate. I also add kaolin clay and coconut milk powder to all of my soap. And I'm gonna start by mixing these two things together. I'm gonna get them mixed up and then split them into two diff, excuse me, two different colors. <laughs> So that is just barely all mixed together and I'm going to split some of this off into this tiny cup here that has some Elemental Earth Brown Mica from Soapbox Micas. I'm going to add just a tiny bit of TD or titanium dioxide that's been dispersed in water into there. And then to this big container I've got some Honey Blush Mica to be the main donut part. I guess I'm going for like a chocolatey, glazed, vanilla, almond maybe type of donut look. <laughs> the fragrance I am using is called Vanilla Almond, which is by Crafter's Choice. It has no vanillin in it, so it's not going to turn my soap brown. It did say it might turn it a light yellow, but I think if I put these colors in here that should combat it some. Um, it smells just like vanilla. It's like a warm, nutty, almond, vanilla, and cinnamon fragrance. And it's really nice, and I got it because it's hard to find a bakery scent that doesn't discolor to a brown. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix each one of these up. I'm gonna do an in the pot swirl for this, and then we'll start pouring it into those PVC embed molds. Start with this color. chipmunk just run by. It's like, yes, distraction, squirrel, but chipmunk. All right, a little more TD in there. That looks good. So then I'll just add my fragrance into this and we'll start pouring. It's behaving very nicely so well. So well. It's behaving so well so far. I guess that's what I really wanted to say. It's staying very liquidy. No ricing in there, no acceleration. Look how nicely that goes in there. All right, so scrape that little container out. It's a really nice fragrance. I am quite enjoying this so far. And then for my PVC pipes, I will get them over here. I'm going to insert these column embeds that I made. A couple days ago, they are colored with what the outside of the rest of the soap loaf is going to be. But this is going to be the donut hole part, and I'm going to fill in the rest of the PVC pipe with this so that it looks like there is a circle with a hole cut out in the middle or a donut. And so I'm just going to hold it there in what I think is the middle. Let me see here. Because I really want to try and center this into the middle so that it looks like the donut and not some off-centered, crazy-looking concoction. And I'll just pour down the side, trying not to make a mess. And so this whole thing is filled up, and it will support that column in the middle. 
And that is it for today. <laughs> we'll come back tomorrow after 24 hours. We'll unmold it and we'll make the rest of the soap. It smells really good. It smells very delectable. And then it then goes this one. So this will make two loaves. I don't like how that parchment paper is lined up in there, but hopefully it corrects itself. All right, in the middle, let's see. I'm taking a stab at it and saying that's the middle. Fingers crossed. Hello, it went down the side, but guess what? You can't see it, so therefore it didn't happen. I can't wait to tell you all about our trip to Columbia, Maryland, you guys. It was kind of a lot of fun on accident. <laughs> But I was just like a little kid. You thought I went to the zoo or something. I just had so much fun looking around Columbia, Maryland. And I do have some extra soap batter left over here because those embeds took up some of that space. You know, that thing called a volume. So I'll figure out something to do with that. I'm gonna clean up my mess. I'm gonna let these sit. And I'll come back in 24 hours to unmold them. So the next day they've been unmolded and the next step is to place them into the soap loaves. In this container I've already put my mica in there. It's called Tropical Sunshine. It is by Soapbox Micas. It looks very pinkish in real life. I don't know if the camera's picking up the pink. If you use this in Mountain Pour it does turn very true to color. If you put this in cold process soap, it turns very orange, like a tropical sunset orange. So that is the color of the soap. I'm sorry, I just wanted to play in this for a little bit. I just think it's so pretty playing in mica and oil <laughs> and making all these pretty swirls lately. I just thought I'd give you guys the satisfaction of watching that as well before I get started with this. So pretty. <laughs> This is the same exact color that I made that little column mold that I stuck in the middle of that PVC pipe. This is the same exact color. I have a feeling that the shades might be a little off because that's me. <laughs> I'm just going to pour in a little layer of this before I put in those donut embeds because that fragrance acted very well and I, I actually like blended it in because instead of hand mixing it in because I know it behaves so well. So I'm going to let this set up so that when I put those donut embeds in there it doesn't sink to the bottom and yeah that fragrance it actually slows down trace so you have a lot of time to work with that fragrance if it's and there's no vanillin in it. I mean it sounds good to me guys too good to be true so I'll let you know how in the end what it turns out to be but so far I'm liking it. So to top the soap off, I have made these donut embeds out of that mini donut mold. And then I dipped them all in mountain pour and used some of these guys. These are bursting beads from Brambleberry that came in the soiree collection. And I thought they would make really pretty sprinkles. So I'm going to go ahead and iced, ice the top of my soap and put these pretty embeds and sprinkles on. So I've got a Wilton 1M tip and I'm just going to go ahead and put dollops all over this. Story time! <laughs> Bradley in February for Valentine's Day bought us tickets to go see Florence and the Machine. And I've seen her once, but these tickets were special because they were up close. They were in the general admissions area. And it was located in Columbia, Maryland. And the stadium was called Merryweather. And we thought since we both had nothing else to do until the concert started. We would just make a day of it and see what trouble we could get into in Columbia, Maryland. And so we came across a park called Centennial Park and I've heard of it before. So I decided let's just go walk around it and see what it's all about. And it is a lake with a path or a loop around it and we decided beautiful day. It was like 71 degrees, very breezy, 
and the sun was out and so it was just perfect weather for this hike and it was beautiful it was very wooded but it was still like a paved path around the lake it was so pretty but we weren't prepared for what we thought was just going to be a quick little walk around because I was wearing the wrong shoes we didn't have a drink it was three miles of walking we did not expect three miles of walking Bradley was very happy at the end of it because there was an area that you can rent paddle boats or canoes and so of course we had to rent the paddle boat let me just tell you it is a lot of work if you've never done paddle boating it is a leg workout in itself so after doing three miles in the wrong shoes we then continued to try and get around this lake for a half hour in a paddle boat saw lots of like geese and waterfowl and so then when we were done there we went out to grab some food and we thought to kill some time because we were going to park at Columbia Mall so that we can get free parking. It's a little bit of a walk from the actual arena, but it was free and we got to walk around Columbia Mall. <laughs> Walking into the mall, there was a squirrel in the trash can and I got so excited because it was a black squirrel. I've seen gray squirrels, I've heard of red squirrels, I've got plenty of gray squirrels in my backyard, but never in my life have I heard of or seen a black squirrel before? According to Wikipedia and the picture I posted in the comments I got on Facebook, I live under a rock. I am a sheltered person because apparently they're everywhere in DC and Maryland and I've just somehow managed to spend 30 some years of my life in this state and never see one. So I want one in my backyard. <laughs> it was so cute. After that, we walked around the mall and just kind of killed time, walked into all the different stores. I discovered a store called Box Lunch. I have bought online from there, but I didn't know they had stores, and it was the coolest store I've ever been into. Like It's like Spencer's and Hot Topics, but better, because movie lovers, it is a dream. If you like Disney movies, Game of Thrones, Lord of the Rings... Marvel, Harry Potter was my favorite part. There's so much licensed mer merchandise in there that you didn't know existed. Of course, poor Bradley, every time he turned around, I'm like, look at this, look at this, hey, look at this, that's cool, look at this. I wanted one of everything. I almost bought a new apron, they had a Harry Potter print apron, but I was good. I know I'm too lazy to make myself one, so I should have just bought it. But I was good and I didn't buy anything, absolutely nothing. Self-control, it's very hard. So yes, yeah, seven miles all together is what we did. It was a lot of walking in one day on top of paddling. And then when we went to the venue, it was general admission, so there's no seats. Got to stand on my feet from, it was about like six o'clock until 11 on my feet plus when you're at a concert you know you jump up and down and you're waving your arms around and I'm just like dead right now all right I am going to top this off with these little bursting beads I'm going to give it a spray with a rubbing alcohol and I'll bring you guys back in 24 hours or in a few seconds for you and I'll show you guys the cutting It's time to cut this and see what it looks like on the inside. I am going to just take off a little end piece here. This guy's looking a little crooked so far. <laughs> you see how that color turned very orange. So let's keep going here. Hopefully it turns out looking like somewhat like a donut. <laughs> really hard to like line that up in the center once you get to the bottom eh, it's not bad I I like how those swirls turned out on the donut though well you guys I am going to leave some fun footage at the end of this video of our adventure of seeing Florence and the machine and paddle boating and black squirrels <laughs> And yeah, Florence and Machine was so much fun. We were about three people away from the 
barrier and it's been a while since I've been that close in a concert. It's been a long while. It was a lot of fun and she's just as good live as, you know, her voice is amazing and she's just as good live as she is on her records so that is never a letdown. I, th I think it looks like a donut. I really do. <laughs> I think I'm going to leave it how it is. I wasn't sure if I wanted to add anything to the outside of it. Here, let me turn it around. I was really excited when she played the Jenny of Old Stones, which is the song she sang for Game of Thrones, and dedicated it to Arya Stark. I was so excited to hear that one. And so therefore my next concert, now that I've seen Florence, because Bradley and I do like to go to concerts, probably more so me than him, but I booked tickets to go see Hanson. Yes. Hanson. You heard me right. So you can see why he's probably not so excited about that one. <laughs> but being a teenager and into all those pop boy bands, I never got the opportunity to go to a concert until I was like 21. So when I heard they were coming to Maryland, I just, I had to take advantage of it and go see them. So yeah, dream come true for Team Tierra here. <laughs> but I'm sure I'll be telling you guys all about that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you can leave me a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comment sections down below. If you are interested in purchasing the soap, it will be available on July 28th. And until next time, I hope you have a very nice day, and I'll smell you later. go backwards. <laughs>